Hello everyone, I am Dr. Adil Zia and today in this video I will be talking about a reference management software Mandalay. This reference management software is very handy and useful for all researchers for the purpose of referencing. In this video I will be talking about different uses of Mandalay reference management software. First will be related to the management of uh, different references. I'll be talking about how you will be adding references, how you'll be managing that. Everything will be discussed. Then I'll be talking about how you can search different researches because uh, very less people know that you can search research papers using Mendeley. And third, I'll be talking about how you can collaborate with different researchers. Um, a lot of people they write uh, research paper in collaborations so it's very useful tool, tool for the uh, collaborations with the help of uh, Mendeley reference manager software you can do this activity uh, this task uh, in just one click then I'll be talking about how you can do annotations and highlighting the papers important point which is uh, required for your research review or for your activity in research paper writing. To start the Mendeley software you have to download it from the official website which is mendeley.com and on right hand side you will see the download button here and after clicking you will get the options for Mac and Linux as well as Windows. So you can download this for Windows by clicking here and after clicking and downloading this you have to uh, create one account and I'll tell you how you can create that account also. For uh, creating an account you just need to have one active uh, email ID. You can create your account and uh, this page will open. It is not mentioned here that uh, it is asking for creating new account but you have to write here your new email ID. Let's take an example abcd at gmail.com. I want to create my uh, Mendeley account using this email ID. When I'll continue, it will ask for some details, include all the details, and then register. So it will create an account, and you can use this account to log in your Mendeley. After logging in, you will see this page, and in this page, uh, you can notice that there is a uh, no uh, papers available and here you will see this icon create folder you can create uh, any folder by the name of the research paper you are working on or uh, for example I'll start test one and you just have to click and after clicking you will get this icon now in this you can uh, create as many folders as you want test two and you can just arrange your research papers according to your requirement. Suppose I want to add some research papers in test one. Uh, there is one icon. I can click here and I can add any paper which I want. So after selecting it from here, I can select uh, more than one paper also. So if I select more than one paper and I click here and it will come. So this is a very uh, easy way of uh, adding all the research papers from um, the uh, record of your research papers already downloaded. Now if you want to add some papers which uh, you have not downloaded then uh, how you can do that that is also very easy uh, process and I'll be telling you. First I want to tell you that once you click and select all the papers import all the papers here you I advise you to just uh, click on each of the paper one by one and try to see if they have the DOI. Once you get the DOI, try to click here icon search and you can see that it will try to search the information available related to this publication. And uh, sometime the information is not correct after downloading or it's not completely available so once you search each of the DOI you will get all the updates related to that publication related to that paper so I advise you to just go and search 
click this search icon here so that you get all the updated information now the next task uh, is related to okay after logging in you will see that uh, it will be the Mendeley desktop like this and here you will get the search bar and now if I want to search something like uh, green marketing so uh, it will be suggesting some of the key terms you can search by using this uh, keyword also after clicking you will see a lot of papers are available here now very less uh, researchers they use this very fantastic uh, function of Mendeley where you will get all the results related to key terms you can search according to the most cited papers or most recent papers most cited papers related to your keywords I suggest uh, the researchers to go for the most cited one and the recent one relevant one also you can select based on the journals you can sort according to the journals which you want author also open X if the papers are available in open access you can just uh, download the complete paper otherwise you can just add that paper uh, by clicking here add to library once it is here added now you have to go for the uh, Mendeley and if you refresh in Mendeley you will be able to see that paper in the uh, Mendeley software after adding that paper from the website and you go to this main page you will have uh, to click here synchronize go to recently added and then click here synchronize once you synchronize you will be able to see that the process is getting completed once it is complete you can see the uh, publication by edit time so you will see that these papers which i have recently added they are now available here you can search the details and all the details will come and see the page numbers are not here if i click here search see the page numbers are appearing I can do this by clicking here on the DOI as well to get all the latest information and clicking here again I'll go to the search and now all the information is available here so this is a very simple process to add the uh, research papers and even you can search relevant papers using Mendeley software the process of uh, creating groups is very easy and this is very fantastic way of sharing research papers with uh, your co-authors you can create here just click it will ask the name suppose I am saying marketing one so this may be the name of my project or my research uh, you can say the group with whom I am planning to work and create group it will ask some email ID of uh, the people with whom I would like to share suppose I'm just typing a demo name send invitation and this marketing one group is here now what I can do from the test paper I can just drag after clicking on control I can select more than one papers and I can drag these papers to my uh, group which I have created suppose I want to drag two I can bring it in marketing and these two papers will be visible here I can also download papers uh, directly from the website to this shared group as well as in the uh, created group now I'll be talking about how you can use annotations for uh, the research papers suppose uh, I have this paper in uh, test one I'm using this paper as a sample I can double click and I can see this paper available here I can highlight using uh, highlighter I can select my color and I can highlight whatever I want I can save with control s suppose I have something important which I, which I just want to share it with some of my friends or the co-authors I can change the colors also so you can decide the color for uh, one author you can decide that okay I'll be using this color for uh, highlighting some of the important points you can use it the way you want and once you save it it is saved 
for your future reference when you come back you can see all the highlighted text it's a very wonderful task uh, performed by this software and this is very helpful for uh, sharing the research with other co-authors in order to highlight some of the points which you want in the research paper now I would just like to tell you how you can use this uh, reference manager once you have downloaded and uh, entered all the um, papers in the software it will be shown here in references you just have to uh, download the plugin for the windows and uh, you can just after running that plugin you you will be able to see that uh, Mendeley software icon here in the references once you get this in reference and you want to cite this suppose I have I want to cite one reference here so what I'll do I'll just go here put insert citation I can search my paper by typing the name of the author or I can go to Mendeley to physically see the paper which I want to cite suppose I want to cite this paper I can click here and cite after clicking it will be available and if I have uh, to cite another one I can just go here I can add another one also so you will see that both the citations are separately mentioned I can select both and once I select both automatically it will uh, prompt for merge citation I can merge that if you want to delete some you can backspace it will be activated you can edit after editing suppose I want another one or uh, even if you want to delete one of the citation or you want more citation go to citation you can select click here it will be changed so if I want another citation here again insert citation go to Mendeley I can select how many citation I want it will be inserted here now for putting references the list of references click at the place where you want to create the bibliography it is called bibliography you just click here and after that insert bibliography after clicking you will be able to see all the references now it is selected for APA if you want another uh, like Chicago you just click in just one click you will see that all the references and in-text references will change automatically if you use uh, Harvard you click here and the references are changing if I click for APA 11th it is changing like this now if you have to submit uh, your paper in one of the citations style which is not mentioned here you can go for more citations and you can search here IEEE use or any other still if you are not able to find uh, in the list available here you can get more citation you can search here and you'll be able to get that you can download by the URL as well so this is a very simple process of uh, adding all the citations well this is all about the reference management software and if you find this video helpful don't forget to like share and subscribe thank you very much